Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to use uh, Elliott Wave uh, theory to conquer ethics, markets, ups and downs, alright? Are you willing to conquer the FS markets, ups and downs? Alright, are you willing to master the area wave so you can make excellent FS market a trading decision as a day trader, swing trader, or position trader, or even as an investor? Alright, this is an essential tutorial, and I need to remind traders that have asked me to record a short videos that this one will be a little bit longer, on average 20 minutes, even up to 28 minutes or 30 minutes even more so i'll give you the warning from the beginning uh if you are not ready to watch the full length of the video uh do not even watch it at all because i recommend to trade it to watch the full length of this tutorial so find a time grab your favorite drink enjoy you too sit and settle on you too for at least all right 30 minutes all right i'll do my best to keep it very short as traders okay always ask me so i take into consideration all the comment and i try to do something about it and that's the most important thing so this is a good news all right so let's begin the demonstration now how to use area wave a theory to conquer fs market ups and down when i start trading first okay i'll tell you a story very fast is that um, i was trading first indices why because indices do move fast so I love uh, Dow Jones, to trade Dow Jones, very friendly, okay, financial instrument. And I love also the FTSE 100. Those are the indices that I was trading uh, first, all right? Then one day, I don't know anything about FS or Forex market, and then I click on uh, Euro dollar, and then I trade it. So traders that have been following, I know that I talk about this once, all right? But I want to mention it again one more time, if you allow me, uh, because it's important so you know why I'm using the word FS market ups and down. So to keep long story short, I start trading for us, all right? And that was the beginning of my ups and down. It's the reason why I start loving FS of the forest market is because it moves fast. So you don't want to place a trade and wait the whole day for the price to, to move. So forest do move fast like uh, the indices. So I start trading forest. In fact, uh, I was trading forest more than the indices at the end. But then I recognize that it's giving me ups and downs, too much headache. But I still love FS because it's moving fast. And I found myself in a situation where I was losing. So in fact, I say on YouTube, if it comes to the number of losing trade, I should be the number one. They should give me an award for having many losing trade that any trader out there. I challenge you to show me that you have lost talking about the number of trade more than myself all right i'm not talking about the money that i have lost i'm talking about the number of trade that I place that end up being a losing trade so if you are forex trader you want to watch the full length of this tutorial even if you are not forex trader and you will trade you use the area with theory i recommend that you watch the full length of this tutorial so now you understand why i use the um, uh, the sentence fs market ups and down because it has something to do with my own experience with the fs now the time has come to conquer that fs market once and for all all right let's get started so here i have on the monthly chart i'm on the us uh, turkish lira so i have a lot of uh, by the way i need to mention to traders uh, hello to all our area with trader in turkey i have we have a lot of uh, what i've noticed uh, the gst traders that are in uh, Turkey love uh, earlier wave. So if you are one of them, okay, shout something out in the comment section. This is true. We have uh, TSD traders in Turkey, and those uh, Turkish traders love FS. That's why I'm using this currency pair to talk about this subject when it comes to FS market uh, trading. All right. Feel free to disagree with my wave count. This is my first area wave. Now I'm using the numbers. Can you believe it? I'm not drawing a line. So first wave, second wave. Our third area wave has been extended and subdivided into five minor wave. One, two, three, four, five. This is the end of the third area wave, which is a complex third area wave. Now, is this, as always, all right? I'm going to go back to my bad habits. Okay, I don't want to do that. The 
question is is this the fourth in your way or are we expecting okay the prolongation of that fourth earlier way is it going to be a consolidation that is prolonged is it going to be all right a more complex fourth wave or is this just the fourth earlier way so the reason why i'm speaking like this is because i put a question mark on this fourth earlier wave at the point where we are now okay and now we will expect okay the fifth earlier wave as always when it comes to earlier we come Trader disagree, and I get, don't get into that discussion at all. All right, all I say to traders, all right, because to avoid that discussion, that kind of blah blah blah, I just say to traders, this is my wave count, and this is my preliminary wave count. All right, compare your wave count to mine, okay, and see see whether it's useful to you or not. But I can get into that discussion if you say that george you have violated the area with principle then i will jump up and if i'm wrong i will acknowledge you that yes you are right i violated the area with principle here and i'll go back to my area with count which is a humble attitude instead of being too proud of myself all right i will not do that okay so first wave second wave third wave and fourth wave you want to conquer the fs market okay but Let's go back again. Suppose you were here, all right? You are counting wave because it was not easy. You say first wave, second wave, and you will call this one if you were here, the third in your wave, okay? And probably you will call this one the fourth wave, and you will call this one the fifth in your wave. Yes or no? Try to be honest for the first time in your life, all right? It's nothing wrong. This, the wave count is one step at a time, it's no more for trading. But if you do that, then you will try to check whether you did violate the earlier wave principle or not. So, can we say that the third earlier wave is the shortest here? It's not, all right? We can see there's a bit of equality between the first, okay, and the third, all right? So, it's not the shortest as such, all right? Okay, so you say the fifth wave is extended at that point in time. Then the prior rolling back here, no much correction. And then it breaks the bobby, it starts springing up. So now you see that, all oh, right, probably my preliminary wave count is wrong here. Or what you will do at this point in time, you go to the yearly chart, which is very, very important for us at this level now. You are now mature earlier wave trader. You check the higher degree wave count and see what's going on. So probably you say first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree. We are now in the third wave of a higher degree. So, if you are in the third wave of a higher degree, the third in your wave can also, the third wave of a higher degree can also be subdivided into five mana wave. Then you go into what we call the wave violation. Now, it's quite easy to pinpoint the third in your wave. So, on the higher degree, a lot of traders will agree with me for the first time in their life when it comes to area wave that this looks like the third in your wave. And they will remember that I said that in a third in your way, if we see a third in your way with a shadow on it, we should put a question mark on it like this. Yes or no? Oh, you forgot. Don't forget. Now, the reason why we say on the yellow chart, whenever we see that the third in your way, on the yellow chart, we see a shadow like this ending that third in your way, we should put a question mark on it. Because usually, if you see a shadow like this for that third in your way on the yellow chart, only on the yellow chart, very often on the yellow chart, you know that probably the fourth wave is always, is already done or is already underway. So, but most traders that are looking on this chart will say, First wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree, we are now on the third in your wave, and they will not see that for that higher degree wave count, the fourth wave is also already underway because of this shadow here. Again, feel free to smash your computer and buy a new one. All right, don't do that, okay? Or to disagree with me, okay? So this is what we see on a higher degree now, okay? All right. So you will check and say, all oh, right, my third, my fifth in your wave is any here. It, it, it does on the monthly chart, okay, at that point in time. So it doesn't make any sense. So it looks to me on a higher degree. We are now on the third wave of a higher degree. So probably I need to go back to my monthly chart again and see things clearly. All right, so it's not a preliminary mistake as such if you are stopping here calling the fifth wave. But the, the, the warning bell will start ringing after you see this shallow move here, wouldn't you? 
because we know that very often the fourth way is shallow. Okay, this is quite shallow correction. So you see one, two, three, four, five on your monthly chart, you're expecting a proper correction, that's all you get. <laughs> so what's going on here? So you may say, okay, Joe, do you forget about the flat correction? So this is my fifth area way, one, two, three, and now we are now up. So I say to you, okay, now oh, but maybe. Maybe. Okay, I don't want to get into that discussion. We continue with our, our normal wave comp. So, if you accept my wave comp, first wave, second wave, third wave ending here, subdivided into five minor wave, fourth wave, we are expecting the fifth area wave here. All right, but there are more that we can do to conquer the FS market. What can we use? So, I want to remind traders first what I will say to you. I have been recording a series of video at uh, 244 Rest Trader YouTube channel. So, you see, really. Yes, because I have stopped posting on that channel for almost many months. Reason is that uh, I did not see any reaction from traders. They were now telling me whether they like the video, like and dislike, all equal. No much comment. So I went back to my drawing board and I was thinking why this is going on. So I was busy posting on other channel where I see more turns up, turns down. Okay, comment, stupid joke, crazy joke, all kind of nonsense. Okay, comment, feedback. Okay, so I was on another channel. So recently, I went back to that channel and I started recording. I think traders, okay, listen to what I said. So I started seeing a bit of, okay, reaction, turns up, turns down, turns up, turns down, bit of comment. So I start posting on that channel. So what I want to say to you, I recorded a series of videos today, in fact, today, on the 16th of August, 2017. And the title of uh, the videos are Keeping Eyes Wide Open to Trade FS and US Turkish Lira Like a Owl. Okay? Owl. Here it is. Okay? Now, and that series of videos is composed of three videos at 244 Forex Trader YouTube channel. You can two says 244 Forex Trader YouTube channel. Uh, by George Beaulieu, you will see my name there, and uh, okay, so so I received, I, I recorded three videos, so I was thinking to record the fourth video for that series of video, but that fourth video will uh, consist of using the earlier wave principle, but then I say, hold on a second, I don't want to talk about earlier wave principle, earlier wave theory, wave pattern on any other channel, okay, except on the 24 earlier wave channel. So that's why I'm recording this video today. So it's a kind of a continuation of that series of videos that I was posting at 244 Rest Trader YouTube channel. So you may check them out, okay? So you may know what I've been discussing with traders. I was talking about the price structure, price action, price number one indicator, and so on. So this is a series of videos of three videos at 244 Rest Trader YouTube channel. And if you are watching the video, just understand this is the fourth video of that series. But because it consists of using Elliott Wave principle, I think it's normal that I post it at 24 Elliott Wave YouTube channel. All right, and you also help Elliott Wave traders to conquer uh, the FS uh, market, uh, okay, uh, ups and down. Okay, talking about the FS ups and down is quite challenging to trade FS. Why? Because we have too many economy news, so I know that there are area way traders that are following us at two for area way that are using the area way for the forest market. But it's quite challenging to trade efforts. There is no day that we can have a quiet day. Do you remember the last time you trade forest when there was no economy news and you were just creaming the market consistently? And the following day, there are all kinds of economy news in Australia. Or in China, or in London, or in Europe, ECB talking, Federal Reserve talking, and blah, blah, blah. And it's, uh, it's quite challenging. That's why I'm using the word ups and down. All right? So in order to conquer the FS market, one should concentrate on the price action. And one of the tools that we can use to conquer uh, the price action or to interpret the language of the price or the price structure is the area weight theory. So here, I'm demonstrating to you how you can use the area wave theory to conquer the FS market. So you may say, George, you haven't said anything new. And I say, here it comes. So this is an irregular first area wave, yes or no? So here it is. So prior went up a bit. Unless I'm missing a data here. So with the data that I got on my chart here, on the monthly chart, you see prior went up a bit, and then blah, 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 down. So this is an irregular. In, 
an irregular, okay, first earlier way. So what are set to traders? The irregular first earlier way is not part of our earlier way count guidelines, but it's something that you need to know. Usually, the irregular a first earlier wave is subdivided into five a five mono wave. So you say to me, is this one also subdivided into five mono wave? And I'll say to you, yes. All right. So allow me to draw on this one, and I will remove them very shortly. First mono wave or that irregular first wave. A second mono wave of that irregular first wave. And third mono wave or that irregular first wave. And fourth mono wave of that irregular first wave, and the fifth mono wave of that irregular first wave. And you say, George, can we use the structure of that first earlier wave to focus the multi wave and the corrective first? And I'll say to you, yes, you are unbelievable, boy. All right? Yes, we can. So you know that, to co that we, you can see the US dollar Turkish lira, the first irregular wave subdivided into five. With the structure of that first irregular wave, we can focus, okay, the corrective wave and how far this third area wave is supposed to go. So now things will become a little bit clearer to you and your eye will start popping out big time like a noun. I mean it. <laughs> that is to make you laugh a bit, all right? Why you were right to think that this is the end of the third wave instead of here. And I will show you in a minute using the structure of this irregular first wave. So as I told traders in that essential, so you say, Joe, you always use that word essential, but I do not see anything essential in that video. And I say, have you watched the full length of it? Uh, you will say yes. Then I will say, hold on a second. Let's go back to the title of that video, which I'm looking for now on my chart. And, um, okay. I'm still here. It's about uh, predicting a financial market, how to predict. So, the title of that video, which I recorded on the 9th of uh, October 2017, the title is How to Predict financial markets using area wave theory like God. <laughs> now I know what you are thinking, all right? So go back to that video, how to predict the financial market using area wave theory like God, all right? So the, that video is essential, why? Because a lot of traders know about the 13 specific area wave pattern. They know the zigzag pattern, they know the the flag correction, they know the WYX or the earlier wave pattern. They have been using earlier wave for a long time, but in fact, they have never used the earlier wave a theory to forecast anything. Why? Because if you buy 100 books of earlier wave a theory, they do not teach you or reveal to you the secret of earlier wave forecast. The secret of the earlier wave forecast is in the structure of the first wave and the second wave. Yes or no? That's why that video, how to predict the financial markets, okay, using okay, area wave theory like God, is the number one video that you must watch in full or understand if you want to master the area wave theory or become okay, a, an expert area wave analyst. So talking about the structure of this irregular first wave, I have done my homework. And as I promise you, I want to keep this video a little bit short. We have been talking now for 90 minutes, so now 20 minutes so far. We will use, okay, the, uh, the Fibonacci retracement applied to the first mano wave, okay? We will apply Fibonacci extension applied to the first mano wave of the irregular first wave of the first mano wave of the first wave. So here I'm using irregular first wave because we have irregular first wave. All we do, we apply Fibonacci extension to the first mono wave of the complex first wave. And we want to see how far the third mono wave did go in comparison to that first mono wave. So I will not dwell on it. I will not expand on it because it's in the first video, it's that video that I already mentioned. So check it out how to predict the financial market using area waves like gold. 
So by doing that, we have noticed that the third manner wave of that irregular first wave is ending at the 200% Fibonacci extension level of that first manner wave. Therefore, we can forecast that the normal third ilia wave has a high chance to stop at the 200% Fibonacci extension level. What am I doing wrong here? Has a high chance to stop at a 200% Fibonacci uh, extension of that irregular first wave. Let me say this again. As we have applied Fibonacci extension to the first manner wave of the first wave, we have noticed that the third manner wave has ended at a 200% Fibonacci extension level of that first manner wave. Therefore, we can forecast that the normal third area wave, if it's underway, has a high chance to end in a zone of a 200% Fibonacci extension level of the normal irregular okay, first wave. So now that we apply Fibonacci extension to the closing price, to the closing price, we can apply it from the high to the high. Understand that not all Fibonacci extension traders draw their line the same way. So if we apply from the high to the high, from the high to the low, from the high of the first wave to the low of the first wave, the 200% Fibonacci extension level is here. All right. So we will be expecting our normal third in your way if it's underway to end here. That's why trader took profit here. So you were not completely wrong to call this one the third real to call this one a real third wave so you will say first wave second wave possibility using the area wave forecast the structure of the irregular first wave we will expect the third area wave to end somewhere here all right <laughs> okay so that's where that's why people took profit here even if you apply fibonacci extension Hold on a second. From the closing price to the closing price to the data following us at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel, know what I'm talking about here. You will see that your 200% Fibonacci extension level of that first wave is here. That's the line here. Same zone again. Price is ending in that zone. So that's why he did this move here that trader were calling third in your wave at that point in time has ended here. So will you agree with me that by using the area wave principle that can help you at that point in time to conquer the forest market and tell your friends that this price move that looks like the third area wave has a high chance to end here. And you will be prepared to take profit. And if you receive a sell signal here, you will be selling. And at the same time, you will be focusing that this US dollar Turkish lira has a high chance to form the fourth area wave. And you will be telling your friend that the fourth area wave, generally speaking, is usually a shallow wave if the third wave is dynamic. So then you will go back again using the structure of, uh, all right, the manner waves of uh, that irregular first wave, and you want to know how far the fourth manner wave okay, did come down in relation to the third manner wave. So you will be applying the Fibonacci retracement to this um, third manner wave, closing prior to closing prior, or from the low to the low. I need to mention both. All right? So I'm doing now from the closing prior to the closing prior. We can see that that. Uh, a fourth manner wave came down to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of that third manner wave of our irregular first wave. So at this point in time, you have forecast that the third in your wave will end here, and your fourth wave will be okay in the zone of 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of this move of this supposed to be third wave. So now again, I'm drawing it from the closing price to the closing price. One can draw it also from the low to the high. If you draw it from the from the if you draw it from the low to the high, you can say that okay, that fourth area way come down to the 50% Fibonacci retracement of that okay of that okay 
structured way. But your expectation will be that because the fourth manual wave of this first wave is 38.2% of uh, the third manual wave, you will be setting your target somewhere here. 38.2% level. So you say, all right, come down here, you will take some profit, expecting a reversal. So you may take your profit and step back and monitor the reaction of the price. Here it comes, it touches the 50% level, and now it goes back above that 38.2% level. So after this, can I see bar? This one here, it goes, so this is a reversal. It went below it. Why is it going back above it and finding the support? So after this, can I see bar is closed? You want to buy, look, use the top down to the middle to buy. And you see, bullish can see bar. And you'll be expecting your fifth wave from here. So you will be calling this one as it's beginning, as the fifth wave. But then something will start clicking in your mind. You'll be thinking, it looks to me, is the third wave the shortest wave? And then you say, probably not because of the shadow here. And then we say, all right, let's call it equality between that third wave and this first wave. Say, all right. Then so here you will say the fifth earlier wave has ended here. You are expecting your correction. How do you expect a correction? How do you forecast the correction? You will see how you, you check using Fibonacci retracement. Check the retracement of the second wave in relation to the first wave. It's a shallow second wave. So you say, all right, our correction will be shallow. So here it comes, all right. And he was, again, here it is. He was a shallow. And he said, George, I told you, your wave count is wrong. You see? Okay. It's a shallow correction, consolidation, all right. As the second wave was here. And you also tell your friend, because the second wave has been prolonged, it took almost a year, there is a high chance that, okay, uh, this one will not take that long to be completed. The fourth wave will not take so long. It will be swift. So it came down one, two, three, and then here it is. And you'll be so now you'll be thinking, what's going on? So you'll be thinking, all right, this is my fifth wave, and probably this is a flat correction. So you say, all right, let's check. Apply Fibonacci extension either to the fifth wave, your fifth wave, or to the whole multi wave. So your whole motive wave at that point in time is this one here. And you will apply Fibonacci extension to that fifth wave or your to that motive wave or to the fifth wave. Now, if there is something you do not understand, it means that you, you are not watching uh, all our videos in full. And uh, there are things that uh, you need to master, okay? I don't want to explain everything. Uh, I want to move on very fast. So you will have applied Fibonacci extension to this one. And you'll be saying that, all right, you see, George, this is the correction, the first part of the correction, all right, 38.2% level. And now we have a flat correction, and in the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. And then you'll say, on the monthly chart. But it is an earlier way of trading mistake to stop on the monthly chart alone. But then you will go to the higher degree wave count, yearly chart, to investigate whether everything is adding up correctly. All right? The wave count may lose correct on the monthly chart, but if we check the higher degree wave count, we may see that probably it's not all correct, though there is no earlier wave violation. So for you, you'll be saying, George, well, I told you, the wave count is wrong. And this is the flat correction. We are expecting one, two, three, four, five, move down. And I say, stick to your wave count, and I stick to mine. For the first time, we disagree as a friend, but we're still a friend. Okay? So the point I'm making here, in order to conquer the FS market, or the US dollar, or, uh, Turkish lira, we can use the area wave theory. Most importantly, we can learn how to master the area wave forecast using the structure of the sec of the first wave and the second wave. So that's why you see now the 200% Fibonacci retracement level. The price did stop here, and people were calling this the third in your wave. But there is something else I want to show you. All right? Something else I want to show you. Okay? Suppose you were here, all right? And this is the end of your first wave, all right? So the third wave is underway, all right? 
and you apply Fibonacci extension, probably from the closing price to the closing price, to the first wave. Because of the structure of uh, the first mano wave uh, and the third, third mano wave, you, you forecast that the real third ilio wave has a high chance to end at the 200% level. You remember that? So you set your target here, and we talk about it already. But feel free to disagree with me. This is not a real third ilio wave. The real third ilio wave is ending here now for the Turkish lira, okay? All right, we are now in the fourth ilio wave, and we are expecting a fifth ilio wave. We will see. I can be wrong, okay? So if you are here, and then you say, George, all right, I have used the structure of the first manual wave. I have forecast the end of the third ilia wave. Everything looks beautiful so far until you are saying now that doesn't look like this is the end of the third ilia wave. How do I manage that from this point onward? So you may say, how do I handle it if the third ilia wave is extending beyond our forecast? So our original forecast for the end of the third ilia wave is the peak line here. And here now we understand that the third ilia wave it has been extended. How do we handle that? All you need to do is to highlight the distance. In fact, from the low, this is it, okay? From the low, measure the magnitude of the first wave. Here it is. It's 100% from the low of the first wave to the high of the first wave. But I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that why. The reason is, in this case, it makes sense because it's a 200% level, therefore we can do that. But the best thing, what you should do, forget about uh, measuring the width or the magnitude of the first wave, we can use that also, but that's not the point here. If the target of your third wave is here, but the third wave is extended, measure the distance from the top of the first wave to the target. So, for example, if the target was here, you measure the distance from the top of the first wave to that target. That's why I don't want you to use the magnitude of the first wave, though we can use it. And then, all right, if the target wave was here, you will have drawn the distance from the top of the first wave to that target. That's what I want you to do. That will save you all kind of trouble, okay? Yeah, you understand later on as you are practicing and facing different challenges, all right? So now, you measure that distance, that's why we want it to, to stop. Now we see that it's extended. You use that, okay, to project it in the direction of that third area wave uh, that is extending to set a target. You are, in fact, combining uh, the area wave pattern with the market geometry. So once this target is exceeded, you say, all right, Guys, uh, it looks like that we are now the third wave is extended because by checking the higher degree wave count, it looks to me that our third area wave is extended, it's not stopping here. So, the next target will be okay, you do your projection, you see, that will be 400% level. So, I mean, whatever, okay, 300% level, you see, it's corresponding to 314% level, but it's a 300% level. 100, 200, 300. The dotted line above is 314% level. So all you do, you pull, you measure the distance from the top of the first wave to the first target, which was at the 200% level, as plenty already. And if it goes above that target, you project that measuring stick one more time, and your target is here. Can you see why people take profit here again? They were doing exactly that to conquer the FS market. And the U.S. Turkish lira, <laughs> isn't it beautiful to use earlier way? Do you think that the earlier way principle can help you uh, to conquer the FS market? All right, very good. So now again, he breaks the ball. You say, all right, our third earlier way is now extended. First man away, second man away, third man away. This is the fourth man away. As John has said, where will the fifth man away will end? You will use again the same measuring stick and project it up. And this is your new target. All right. So, what you were doing, you were focusing the forex market and the US Turkish lira using the area wave principle. So, you were able to focus further the normal third area will end here. 
which was at that point in time correct, you were able to forecast that, uh, okay, the fourth wave should be shallow, it deep a little bit below the 38.2% level. You, were, you manage that, all right? Now the fifth wave is underway. We can also forecast this fifth wave. Uh, it's a little bit different. Why? You can see that you were here, you see fourth wave and the fifth wave. But here it went too far. But if you compare that uh, fifth wave to our, uh, if you compare this, that, this price action that you were calling fifth wave to, the relationship between the third mono wave and the fifth wave, you see that the fifth mono wave did not go too far away from the high of this uh, third mono wave. So you will, at this point in time, you you should be focusing that your fifth in your wave will end somewhere here and will not go too far away from your your third in your wave. So you expect your fifth in your wave to end somewhere here. But surprise, surprise again, that fifth in your wave is extended. At that point in time, you were expecting your fifth way to, to not go too far away from the end of the third anyway. Here it is, start going out. Where is it going? You see now? So by using, okay, now our third area way is extended. That's why our fifth, supposed to be fifth way, did not end here. And again, so prior breaks above this level, how do we get that? We project, okay, our measuring stick, you remember? Project it, we know it. So we say, first manual wave of the third wave, second manual wave of the third wave, third manual wave of the third wave itself, and fourth manual wave of the third wave, we are expecting the fifth manual wave of the third wave. Again, you use that measure stick and set it here, and your target here, and that fifth manual wave of the third wave has ended a little bit above, okay, our target. But it's not too bad, isn't it? In that zone. So as the price came to that zone, you can see that Kennedy Bar got his shadow. And in fact, he went down fast before closing up, okay, because of that target level. Isn't it beautiful to use the area way principle? I know that a typical area way trader will be clapping and say, Yes, George, I told you, don't talk about anything else, only talk about area way. And I say to you, do not ignore other technical trading tools. <laughs> All right. Uh, what has happened here? You set your target, which I talk about either at a two four stock trader YouTube channel. You set your target. Yes, price can go above the target, and if it goes above the target, we can project the target again one more time. Yes or no? Because he exceeded our target, we project the target one more time. So our ultimate target will be here, and our midpoint target somewhere there. So price breaks above our initial target and hit the midpoint target of the next ultimate target. So this is our next ultimate target, and this is the midpoint of that next ultimate target. And you say, well, brace boy, next target, ultimate target here, midpoint target here, and here it is, bearish engulfment here. So you say, well, 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 this is, okay, the end of the third in your way that is subdivided into, okay, a five man away. Though, by using the structure of uh, okay, our first irregular first wave, we were expecting our third area wave to end here. But surprise, surprise, price breaks in Bowie. Now we use our measure stick from the top of the first uh, wave to the first initial target, and we project it in the direction of the prior as the third area wave is extended. Are you getting it now? All right, are you getting it now? All right, this is how you can use the FS to conquer the forest market. So, as I told traders, as, as I have been brainwashing, okay, if you accept that word, are we allowed to use that on YouTube? All right, <laughs> in a friendly manner, with your permission, is that we have our forecast, okay, but we want to understand that the area we forecast, all right, is an expectation. As you can see, we did forecast that the third year we end here, was it useful for us to know? Yes, it was. We did forecast that the fourth way will end here. Was it useful for us? Yes, it wouldn't be below it, but it closed back above it. We know that if you go below it and quickly return above it, it's telling that, okay, join the price move. Was it useful? Yes. All right. But there was a bit of difference. Again, price did something else more Price did go up more than we were expecting. The third in your way did not end here. Though the first mono wave or the third wave ended here, our third in your wave is extended. Game on. Now we know how to handle that. 
Yeah. Now, looking at the second man away, uh, looking at the second wave, which is a shallow second wave, we will forecast that when the correction after the rear fifth wave is completed here, when the correction is underway, we are likely to see a shallow correction. The shallow correction, the first thing that will come to our mind, we will not expect it's just a move down to be shallow, to be correct, a correct wave. We may say, all right, that a shallow, anytime you hear the word shallow correction, all right, so we should think of fourth wave. So we are thinking, is there a higher degree wave count that is in the fourth wave at this point in time? Shallow should bring into mind fourth wave. Now, another thing that I can say to you today is this. The, another pattern that we can think of is the classic flat correction. A classic flat correction, in fact the word flat means that it's not shallow. So think of a flat correction. So. The focus that we are making is that though we are saying that our correctly way looking at the structure of the second wave, we are focusing that if the correction is underway at the end of the fifth wave, it will be shallow. It does not have to be shallow, but this is our expectation. The price can print it down more, can become deeper correction due to the market environment. But at this junction, looking at the structure of the second wave, we can expect the second wave to be shallow. Second wave is shallow. Are we in the fourth wave of a higher degree? Or are we going to have a classic flat correction? All right. This is our expectation. All right. Probably can do something else. But we have an edge. We have an edge. How do we have an edge? We have an edge because we know something that a lot of people do not know. If it's taking place, we'll take advantage of it without violating the price action. We are flowing with the price. As you can see here, we fork at the end of the third in the week here, but the third week has been extended, and we handle it. If we come here and the correction is underway and the price doing something else, we will handle it again, just flowing with the price action again. 42 minutes, this is what we are talking about. Okay, some video will be long, some video will be short. And YouTube love long form videos. All right, so this is what we will say about the correctly way if the fifth way is that way. We can focus also the fifth, the real fifth way using the structure of that irregular first wave. We will expect the fifth wave not to go too far away. So this is it, you see here. The fifth man away did not go too far away from the third man away. Therefore, our expectation is that the fifth in the way, if it's other way, will not go too far away from the top of this third area wave. So I can put it here. At that target level, using this measuring stick that we were using before, you remember that, and projecting it, projecting it. So we're the first level, so here is stuck below the media line of that ultimate target. So we'll just say ultimate target for the fifth wave in a zone of four one two one five for the by comparing the U.S. dollar to the Turkish lira. So why is he telling us? He's telling us that if the correction is underway, it will be better to start buying the Turkish lira and selling the U.S. dollar against okay the Turkish lira. All right. So we are selling so U.S. dollar Turkish lira at the end of the fifth in your way will become bearish. So what we are doing? We are selling the U.S. dollar and we are buying the the Turkish lira. There are more investors can do with that information. But as always, this is a, an educational video. So this is very, very important. What I'm doing at 2.4 Area Wave, I'm showing traders how to use the Area Wave theory in the financial market. This video is not an invitation to buy or sell the US dollar or the Turkish lira. All right? So we can focus the end of the fifth wave using the structure of the regular uh, first wave, as you can see here. And our target is at a 41215. Can go above it. If it goes above it, what do we do? The same. We have the major stick. What do we do? Just project it up again. And highlight the ultimate target and the midpoint target and take it one step at a time. The correction is underway. We will expect a shallow correction. So we apply Fibonacci. See, here it comes. You see? That's why some videos are long. Are you drinking your favorite drink? Well, I'm drinking mine here. It's a tea. I'm drinking tea here. As I'm recording it, let's sip one tea here. All right. So, 
if the fifth way has ended here, well, game on. We use what we call Fibonacci retracement, not extension, but Fibonacci retracement. Applied to the whole uh, fifth way. And uh, we will be watching, we will be seeing a shallow correction. First Fibonacci retracement that comes into our mind, 38.2% level. Bringing the Turkish Lira to the previous target level, you see the pink line here, in the zone of uh, 30242. Will it do that? Maybe. We will see. That's the good answer. The correct answer. We will see. All right. The price can go down more or do something completely different. You will see your, your, your theory is mumbo jumbo. But the point I'm making to you because the trading for us is quite challenging. Ups and down. So it's very, very important. So the investor do care about, okay, to have a bit of a year, what is likely to take place. You remember recently they are talking about a Brexit. Are you trading for us? You don't know what is a Brexit? It's the, 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 the United Kingdom coming in out of uh, okay, the European community. All right. So this is a big issue right now. So what the investors do care about, especially the banks, the banks want to know okay, where they can place, okay, they can do business in the future. London is the financial center of the world, and Britain is coming out of the Eurozone. So now the point is that is the capital still talking about the, the financial capital, will the financial capital remain in London? If you ask me, I'll say to you, yes. Nothing to worry about, all right? <laughs> all right. So for an investor or for a trader, as a trader said to me, controlling the risk is very important. And one way to control the risk or to manage the ups and downs of the forest market is to have a bit of idea what is likely to take place. Wouldn't it be good to have a bit of idea what is likely to take place before it's happening? And if you have a bit of idea about what is likely to happen before it's happening, you have an edge. Will you agree that using Elioui theory will help you to conquer the forest, the market, ups and down? I think yes. Personally, if you disagree, let us know in the comment section so we may force you to unsubscribe from this channel once and for all. Now, this is to make you laugh, okay? Don't unsubscribe. Even if you unsubscribe, okay, few days later, come back and subscribe again. All right, we want you on our channel. Okay, so this we conclude uh, this discussion. I can go on and on. You see, this discussion has been a bit long. All right, I can go on and on and on and on and do more with uh, all this discussion about the forecasting. Some traders will love it, some people trader may not like it. And we go on and on, okay, going a little bit deeper and deeper and deeper about how we can use the Elioui theory uh, to forecast what is likely to happen to the U.S. Okay, Turkish lira. But I've said the most important thing so far that you need to know. So probably I have clicked something in you that will push, that will wake up, okay, the Elioui wave genius in you. All right. So if you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comment section. I always read the comment and do call. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video truly, truly useful, okay, let us know. Give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it because it's too long, all right. Don't just don't mark it down because it's too long. Put in the comment section and say, Joe, you went a bit too far good but then i will say to you some video will be short some video will be long the average video will be 20 minutes and youtube love long form video and this one has been long another video may be very short all right so that's it all right but if you dislike it we want to know also mark it down and that will force us to improve our next recording if you think this is an amazing tutorial all right essential tutorial like you agree with me that it's an essential tutorial be busy all right to share with your friend on reddit on facebook on google plus and also on facebook i'm cheer the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tstw24 traders talking about how to use the alien wave theory to conquer fs market ups and down the financial instrument that we were analyzing is the U.S. dollar, Turkish lira. This is a continuation of a series of videos that I have been posting at 244 Forest Trader YouTube channel. The title of that series of videos is called, is called Keeping Eyes Wide Open to Trade FS and U.S. Turkish lira like an owl. In, to avoid posting the fourth video, I decided to post the video at 244 
area wave YouTube channel where we are discussing the subject of area wave principle. Happy training to you all and speak to you soon. Has been only 50 minutes, my friend, on YouTube. Enjoy more YouTube.